Hello friends, welcome back and from my previous step what I did is I used m is equal to 0.45, b is equal to 0.75 and I got an SSE sum of squared error as 1.835. Now my main intention is to reduce this error. So for that I have to try a new value of m and a new value of b. But the question is how do I decide uh, should I increase or should I decrease my values for m and b okay and that is where the uh, the derivative okay the gradient at point m and point b has to be calculated to check whether I, am, I need to increase or I need to decrease so basically in another language I want to see if I nudge my m and b by a small amount then how much it is going to impact my uh, sum of squared error. So in that case, I want to see the dependency of sum of squared error on m and b. So the expression for sum of squared error, as we have seen, is nothing but the y original, the original value minus the y predicted value square. Right? This was the sum of squared error for us. And this can be also written as y original. I'm just taking o as a subscript minus, and y predicted is nothing but mx minus b, right? So if I take the parenthesis, then I can write mx plus b, okay, whole squared. So what I want to see is the derivative of sum of squared error that means what is the change in the output if I change m similarly I would also like to see what is the change in my output which is the error function if I change b so that means I'm interested in both this term because these terms also called as gradients will tell me in which direction should I move should I increase m or should I increase B or should I increase uh, M reduce B all those will come out if I calculate the gradient uh, that means if I change C what changes does it influences on the SSE if I only nudge M and what changes will it bring to SSE if I ch nudge the value B okay so let's look into that okay so we have already uh, seen such derivative earlier and say if I represent SSE is equal to say Z square. So if I have to see what is the sum of squared error derivative of DM, then this I can say 2 times of Z and then I take the derivative of Z again with respect to M right and this will be nothing but 2 times of z is nothing but y naught minus y p and basically I'm taking derivative of y naught minus mx minus b okay with respect to m so I'm basically trying to see the dependency so we know that y naught is the original value right so even if I change m it is not going to change at all so this will become 0 b even if so there is no dependency of m on b so even if I take a change of b with respect to m then it will be 0 again so that means if I, the only term that is left out here is if I take a derivative of mx with respect to m then it becomes minus x right so my final result will be minus of 2 times y original minus y predicted times x you can just relate x as the area in square feet okay all right so this is for the uh, change in the sse with respect to m okay now let's see sse again is nothing but y original minus mx minus b whole square this is the error function for us and I want I'm interested in knowing how much will my sum of squared error will change if I change b so again this will looks very similar so again jets if I take z square 
so it will be 2 times of z and the derivative of z and this is nothing but 2 times of y naught minus y predicted y predicted is nothing but mx plus b and I want to see the derivative of y naught minus mx minus b with respect to b in this case okay so again I know that y 0 is original value so this will go 0 because it will not change even if I change this is original value so it will not change anyways again m has no contribution or influence because of b so this will be 0 again and this one will be minus 1 so your final result will be 2 times y naught minus y p minus 1 which I can write here ok. So basically now you saw there are uh, two different gradients and we also saw the direction it is negative in both cases and uh, this we are going to then use for calculating our new values of m and b.